and welcome back to my channel. So today I have filmed a Sainsbury's food haul because we couldn't get a slot with our usual Tesco and I thought, nope, I'm gonna give Sainsbury's a try. It's a fairly small shop, but I thought I'd just pop it on here anyway. So thank you for watching, hope you enjoy. So before I start this Sainsbury's haul, I will just apologize if you can hear Peppa Pig in the background. Um, it's still the school holidays here in Southampton and Basically, it's on all the time when we're home. So yeah, I'm sorry if you can hear that. So to start this haul, we got some unsmoked bacon rashers. I got the skinless and boneless cod fillets because my brother did a recipe for us at the weekend and it was just roasted cod with a breadcrumb, some roasted new potatoes and veg. And it was absolutely delicious and hardly any calories really. So I thought I'd give that a try. I ordered some minted lamb steaks. They sent some standard lamb rump steaks which is fine i accepted those because they will still do nicely some peach and nectarine slices i started slimming world last week and i need to get back into the overnight oats and things like that so um i've got those to keep in the freezer and then i can just stick those in a dish with some muller light and some porridge oats which i also bought a pack of garden peas, um, two of these chicken char grills because the kids just like that sometimes, you know, with some veg gravy, potatoes, it's a quick dinner and especially Lucy, she's only one and she finds the texture of this chicken easier at the moment with only four teeth, so sometimes we give them those instead. Some corn crispy nuggets because the Simmon old lady recommended these with some of the Uncle Ben's lighter sweet and sour sauce. And she said you could basically have what tastes like a sweet and sour chicken Hong Kong style. So I've got some of those. We don't have enough corn actually. We don't dislike it. It's just something I never remember to pop on order. So yeah, we've popped that on this week. Some turkey dinosaurs. They're cheeky, aren't they? Because these are going down and down. They used to be 10 in a pack. But hey ho, it is what it is. It's just, you know, 10's quite helpful, even number when you've got two kids. So yeah, we've got those as a very, very quick dinner and that is a real treat for the kids. They don't have them very often, so I'm gonna hide those away. And then a pack of these 40 frozen pork cocktail sausages because we just find them handy with picnics and things. We, we sometimes prefer them to the kind of pre-packed cold ones. We just, that's just our preference. I have got a Thai red curry paste because that was on offer and I thought I'd give it a try and make one this week. I've got the lighter coconut milk, which sin wise, if I'm talking about Slimming World, I'm absolutely no idea what that is. So I need to actually check that before I use it. Some cardamom pods for a recipe. I got a tin of ratatouille because we use that as a base in shepherd's pie and wow, well, spaghetti bolognese, anything kind of mince based we use. Sorry, I'll just pop over here. What's this one? Um, oxtail soup for husband, a tin of Italian chopped tomatoes. That's the Uncle Ben's lighter sweet and sour sauce I was mentioning. Hi Leo, Hello. come and see what it's all about. And then a pack of reduced sugar and salt baked beans and a pack of Branston baked beans. I realize that seems like a lot of beans, but although these are technically free on Slimming World, I still think surely having the reduced sugar and salt ones, sin wise, I don't know, they say they're the same, but I just feel better if I have the, like the no added sugar ones basically, Mommy. that's just my choice. Yes? I'm still hungry. You're still hungry? Yeah. This is what the summer holidays are all about, isn't it? I'll get you a snack in a minute. Let me just finish this. Say hi. 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 Then I have got a bottle of fish sauce, again for a recipe. Then over here, I have got a four pint of whole milk for the children, six free range large eggs, because we get through eggs ever so quickly in this house. That won't be enough. We've still got a few, but I will definitely have to top up bread, milk and eggs in the week, which is why we don't have much of that at the moment. And then I've got these Tuck mini crackers because my daughter absolutely loves Tuck crackers. And I end up kind of breaking the big ones into three or four pieces. So I thought actually we will try those. I don't know if they're individual bags or not. I think, no, I think it's just one big bag, but either way, she will enjoy those. The frubes, which we get most weeks from wherever we shop. Then I've got some large grassini breadsticks and then six packs of the mini breadsticks to take out and about because they just seem a bit easier. We went for, well, we call it bow tie pasta in this house. Um, yeah, we just thought we'd give it a try. I don't want the kids to become obsessed with only having one shape of pasta. So that's this week's choice. The boil in the bag basmati rice because I know it's really it seems really lazy but 
We find we just get absolutely perfect rice when we do the boil in the bag ones rather than just standard rice. I don't know why, it just seems to come out better really. A six pack of dairy milk little bars, which certain little someone has already taken one out of. A pack of courgettes to go with the cod. Some Jaffa cake bars, I got two of these because they were only something like 75 pence, I think. So we always have some cake bars in the cupboard just as a treat. Some, well, well basically Sainsbury's own McCoy's, we thought we'd give them a bash. Two of the oven baked crisps because they're Leo's favourite. Over the back I went absolutely crazy. I didn't realise I'd ordered baking potatoes and Maris pie potatoes and also the baby potatoes to do with the roasted cod. So yes, we have potatoes coming out of our ears and I need to think of recipes which will use them up fairly quickly because our kitchen is so, so hot. It's a self-facing kitchen. Even in a dark cupboard, veg and things, they turn really quickly. So I'll try and squish them in the fridge, but we will need to try and think of ways to get through those pretty quickly. Some royal garlic apples, these flat peaches, because we all love these actually. There's five in a pack this time, which is good. And yes, we really enjoy those once they've ripened. A pack of the small bananas, again with the kids. We just think it's a bit overwhelming sometimes when they have to try and munch through a big one. So when we can, we get these small ones. And then over here, a broccoli, some carrots, and I don't even remember ordering these, especially not two of them. I'm going to check in a minute, actually, to check that that was meant to be on our order. Beetroot. I actually really like beetroot with a salad. And perhaps I did put it on the list and then forgot and put another one, but yeah, I think I'll give one of those to my mum. So yeah, that's it. It was actually quite a small shop this week. It came to only about £50, so we seem to already have a fair amount of meat in the freezer ready to use and fish i've gotten to get toilet rolls milk bread and some more eggs but other than that that will do us nicely thank you so much for watching my video i hope you enjoyed it i'm filming a couple of different videos this week i'm going to do a what my kids eat in a day and i'm also going to start my swimming world journey for those that do want to see it I appreciate that it's not for everyone and that's absolutely fine so I will try not to totally take over with that but I thought I'd pop a video on for that as well when I know how I've done tonight so yeah thank you so much for watching if you'd like to subscribe to my channel that would be amazing I'm also over on Instagram mama underscore hedgehog thank you for watching bye